So one of the things I always try to do is I try to get Eleanor her own trough, as you can see here. Hers is singled out kind of away from all the main feeding troughs that we have. I like to make sure that she's getting um, some feed too. And plus she's just the sweetest. She is the sweetest heifer that, um, that we have or out of all of our bison. But there's definitely some Definitely some hierarchy and some pecking order with these animals. And so we try to make sure all of them are getting taken care of as much as we can. I know I haven't talked about it much, but there is a pecking order in this small bison herd. These animals are so social, um, and there's definitely a system that they have. Um, it really started with um, our two most dominant, well, they're mamas now, so they're cows. It started with them, really. Um, when we brought them into this pasture and with this herd, they were older. They were already three years old. Uh, they were bred and so and plus they were just bigger and so they really took over in this in this small herd from our original four um, bison that we had um, so it really kind of changed the dominant the dominance here and the hierarchy uh, the bulls pretty much been the most dominant and and he will be as he gets older especially as he can contest with some of these older cows um, Bell Star, our largest heifer of the original herd, is one of the most aggressive and was the dominant um, in the herd for a while. And then Dunbar, our bull, is caught up to her. And um, obviously it's breeding season, so that dominance is really um, shown and exploited here. But um, it's really crazy to see how these animals work and, and coincide with each other and how there really is a dominant system place and that takes place everywhere i mean it that takes place in all the the big ranches all of the um, national parks that you see yellowstone that pecking order takes place in all of these um, it's really easy to tell in mind just because of uh, how small my herd is but um, even in a, a small herd of eight with those two calves uh, there is a pecking order, and it's just really interesting to watch and see. Um, but definitely those two quapaw heifers are, are two of the most aggressive. Plus, they have babies right now, and I think some of that dominance and that protection mode comes in when we're talking about the pecking order. When we're up here feeding, um, the bull runs off. Uh, he's, he's got his own trough over there. And you can kind of watch and see who kind of takes control in this corral and this feeding area that we have. But our two quapaw heifers for sure take control. So this is Bell Star. She's one of our 
more dominant, more aggressive heifers. And then here's peaches. And then one of our favorites, Eleanor. Eleanor unfortunately has become one of the um, less dominant um, animals of this herd. She is kind of the weak leak, unfortunately. Um, she was one of the largest when she first got here. But Eleanor is now kind of on the lower side of things, even though she's the sweetest. Eleanor has been kind of pushed to the side, and she's one of the weaker ones of the group of this pecking order, unfortunately. Here's an example right here. I guarantee you watch this. And just like that. Bellstar comes in and kicks Eleanor out. Let's see if she'll let her eat with her. Oh, but here's the most dominant of them all. And there you go. You've got Quapaw. Quapaw and Dakota are the two most aggressive out of all of them. And there's another example right there. So there, there's your winner. There's your winner right there. That is Dakota. And there's Teddy. Falling a lot of wrong, right along with her. So I think your winner's right here. The most dominant besides the bull, he's pretty dominant now. He's the largest. Hey guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video today. I, uh, I hope you understand a little bit more about the, uh, the pecking order and these bison and that, that takes takes part in every bison herd there is uh, across North America. Um, but um, it's just part of the system. Uh, these animals are very, very social animals. And it's fun to just kind of watch how their family works and how their system works. And, and they, and they, you know, they, they fight just like, just like families do. And, and, and so you can kind of see that order and, and that management within the herd. So, um, but anyways, just, uh, a couple little things. So uh, we've got hats for sale on crosstimbersbison.com on my website, as well as the t-shirts and, you can get online and check that out. And if you haven't followed us, um, you can follow us on Facebook or Instagram, and you can check any of that stuff out. I've got a lot of good pictures up there. My sister took of the bison um, a couple months ago. So we're getting close. We've just about, just about got that pad um, cleaned off. We're trying to get a lot of those cinder blocks gone. And then we've got some construction there. And then... I'm going to get a chute and get a alley system and we're going to put this thing on there and um, we're going to get our, our bison handling system put together. One other thing I do want to say is we are hosting a bison sale. Um, it is part of the Oklahoma Bison Association. Um, I'm one of the, the officers on the Oklahoma Bison Association. And we host this sale every year. It's actually in my hometown. Uh, it's in Sulphur, Oklahoma. Uh, we have a sale barn uh, um, here in Sulphur. And it's really good and it's really set up for, for what we do. But we've got a lot of bison coming this year. Last year we had over uh, just a little under 100. And then this year we have at least 100 coming. This is going to be a, a much larger sale. It's uh, November 2nd, I believe. It's on a Saturday and it's coming up pretty soon. So uh, me and the other members of the uh, OBA are getting that thing ready. And hopefully I'm going to take you on that journey with me when that happens. And it's November 2nd. If some of you are in Oklahoma or, in, or near us and you want to come see a show, come to a bison sale and you'll see some really interesting stuff go down. You'll see all kinds of different um bison producers and and some different bison as well so it's it's fun to watch and and they bring every anything from from young baby calves six months old all the way to full-grown cows and bulls and so it's really interesting you can learn a lot 
at those sales and one of the things that I do um, is I go and work it so whenever people are bringing them in well got a dog plan um, I um, work it and I help get them in their um, certain pens and keep them separated and we uh, we identify them and do all the paperwork for them and get them ready for the sale so Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned with us. Thank you guys for following. Thank you for all the support and all the very positive comments that you guys leave. Thank you. What do you have to say? Stop it. Why are you angry? Huh? Why are you being angry? Like, you must be upset because I don't have any cubes. You are upset. You're like those bison in that park. It's called Yellowstone. Have you ever heard of it? Those people that go up there and never been around bison. They're not like you. Well, I don't know. You get pretty angry sometimes. Those bison up there are different. Bell Star. A little feisty you're over in their territory so I'm not hopping in there with you you're a little feisty oh fine there's no sense for this you're really upset I don't have any cubes that's yours this is mine Okay, I'm gonna let you be. You just do your thing. I'm gonna give you some space. We'll call it even. Good? All right. <laughs>